What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise, we are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we are going to go to the snow filled stable and that's exactly there where I showed you on the map. We're going to go and do a side adventure here which is all related to the princess sighting so it's 12 side adventures, this is the second one and we're going to need to find a Zelda's horse, golden horse. So we're going to come in here and we're going to speak to Harlow and she will tell us that uh, the horse has uh, escaped, has uh, run away up uh, up the hill and she couldn't find it and she's really upset and she would like it to, to be back. So she would like the horse back. So she tells you in what location it went to. So it galloped north. And never looked back what she that's what she's saying and we're gonna go over there and um, and find that horse there's a huge um, um, dragon three-headed dragon in the area and uh, we're gonna try to avoid it you know that, that's the whole point if we have to fight the dragon that's going to take quite a long time so Zelda's golden horse side adventures well if this is the first time you're here thank you very much for watching please comment like subscribe all that good stuff if you're a member or a regular thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it Without further ado, let's play some Tears of the Kingdom and look, in, look at that, it's a massive dragon. I really don't want to fight it right now because I, despite me having many hearts and loads of stamina and plenty of weapons that I should be able to defeat it, I want to make this side adventure as easy as possible. And if I'm going to fight this, uh, this massive dragon, uh, which has a name by the way, uh, this type of, uh, of creature has a name and I'm going to find out now what it is because I really can't remember. It's not uh, it's uh, not a name that I came across yet, it's a new thing for Tears of the Kingdom so I haven't memorized some of the new names that um, that that are things like the worm-like creatures called Likes. I know they're called Likes but I, I keep on forgetting their name. But this guy in here is absolutely massive. So what we need to do is try to get away from his gaze, you know, try to evade him to the right. He's still going to come and attack us because once you get to into his orbit, uh, what, what, you know, he will appear as one of the bosses that we need to fight, sort of thing. So uh, we either go to the right all the way outside. So the name is Frost Gleok. So a Gleok is what it's called, this, the, these uh, dragons. And they, they are so massive, it's ridiculous. I was going to start shooting at it, but look at that. Guess what? I've got no arrows left, so I can't even do anything. I, I totally forgot that I had run out of arrows, and I could have gone into the stable or to one of the uh, outposts and, and buy some more arrows, but I didn't think I was going to fight this guy in here for sure. But here we go. We are here. We need to just get away. You know, that we, we haven't got a chance now because he's not going to land. And uh, he's going to try and uh, and shoot us, of course, in that you're going to take a little bit of damage. So make sure you eat something if you are prepared to do this and uh, try to avoid it. Because the horse is only just up here. So if we can avoid it and then mount the horse, then all we need to do is gallop back. And we can avoid them a lot better if we are on horseback. So if you go onto the right hand side in here, there's going to be like an archway in here. And as you can see, further down, we can uh, see the golden horse going to be to the left in here there's going to be more horses around there and uh, we need to kind of like sneak uh, until we get there and the frost gliok will, um, bar will disappear now because we are at a range of, uh, of its location basically uh, so we keep on walking all the way to, towards this way here you can see it on the mini map exactly where I'm gonna be and then you will see some horses there's like two or three horses and then there's a golden horse on its own and that's the one that we're going to want. We want to mount it, uh, tame it, and keep it. We are going to keep it afterwards anyway. So it's always good to uh, to have a really powerful horse. And uh, Zelda's horse is definitely going to be that, a really powerful horse. So make sure you eat. If you haven't got the clothing, keep eating like small things all the time to try to replenish your hearts because, you know, it's cold in here. So you you will have trouble if you haven't got the right clothing. So as you can see, that is the horse that we want. We just need to crouch and start going really, really gently, sneaking there and uh, capture this magnif that magnificent uh, horse. Well, I, I haven't seen one like that before, a gold horse like that before. It's just so shiny. 
Uh, I've seen Zelda's horse before. I think it was like a white one that we had in Breath of the Wild, not a golden one. But obviously Zelda is a, a princess, so she, she's going to have uh, many different horses, right? Uh, so, yeah. So when we can, we're going to get really close to it. I think we need a, a stamina wheel in order to time it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Yeah, you're gonna need one stamina, one and a half stamina wheel to time it. So make sure that you've got enough stamina or eat something like uh, that can replenish your stamina or give you boost a boost to your stamina, uh, like uh, some portion or something like that, or some fruits like swift carrots or something like that. And that should work out. In, in this one should work out. Um, things like getting the sword and stuff like that, like major missions, that's not going to work out. You need the right amount of stamina. But these uh, these uh, side adventures are are, are, are going to be okay. So the Frost Gillock, we're going to go really close to it, but we don't care because we are on horseback. We can just uh, gallop away and take the horse back to the Snowfield Stable and finish this side adventure. And that is really it. You know, like all we need to do is just make our way back to the to the stable, and then obviously you need to register this horse. Don't forget to register the horse because it is going to be given to you, so you can use it in other quests. It's a really nice horse uh, to be used in other quests, and you can even name it and everything. It's it's pretty pretty cool. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you'd like to know how I make my YouTube videos, how I run my YouTube channel, how I edit video, audio, thumbnails, all that stuff, uh, I've created a series of videos for members. So if you become a member, you'll be able to have access to those videos explaining uh, how I work out you know my, my youtube channel upload and manage everything and uh, i'm constantly releasing them but i've been quite busy with tears of the kingdom as you can imagine and that's the reason why i slowed down but there are a few videos there but there is more on the way so now all we need to do is wait for uh, to receive a gold a gold uh, a royal bridle and a royal saddle as well and uh, we get quite a few goodies in here uh, i totally forgot about this in here uh, and you get some more uh, m uh, some more rupees uh, for doing this quest um, and an energizing elixir so it's quite quite a lot of stuff you get on this one so i guess this is it for this one guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye